your rights and obligations in the housing rental market. Kersey and her family live in a rundown private rental house. The house is very damp and the carpets are mouldy. Her children always have colds and Kersey thinks this is because of the damp house. Kersey has complained to the landlord but he has never done anything. One day there is a huge storm. The roof of Kersey's house is damaged. There is a serious leak in the roof. Whenever it rains, water pours into the house through the light fittings in the ceiling. Kersey is worried that the house is unsafe. She asks her landlord to make repairs, but the landlord doesn't take any action. Kersey phones her landlord every three days. Each time he says, don't worry, I'll organise a friend of mine to come and fix it. After three weeks, Kersey is tired of waiting. She phones up a roof repairer from the Yellow Pages. She asks him to come and repair her roof. He charges $1,200. Kersey pays him. Then she sends a letter to her landlord. It says, I have paid for the repairs to the roof. They cost $1,200. Here is my receipt. My rent is usually $1,200. Because I paid for the repairs, I will not pay the rent this month. Kersey is happy. The roof is fixed. She has not heard anything from the landlord. But two months later, Kersey receives a legal document called a notice to vacate. It says that she is $1,200 in rental arrears. This means that she is $1,200 behind in her rent. The notice says she has 14 days to move out of the property. Kersey goes to her local community legal centre to ask for help. They send her to the Tenants' Union. The Tenants' Union explains that Kersey has not followed the correct legal process by paying for the repairs herself. They explain how the legal process works. The law says that the landlord has a duty to carry out urgent repairs immediately, within two to three days. At the start of your tenancy, the landlord or real estate agent must provide you with a telephone number you can reach them on in case of urgent repairs. If you need urgent repairs, you must try to contact the landlord or agent before making your own arrangements for repairs to be carried out. Keep a record of the steps you took to get the landlord or agent to carry out the repairs. For example, keep a list of the phone calls you made, times and dates. Urgent repairs include a burst water service, a blocked or broken toilet, a serious roof leak, a gas leak, a dangerous electrical fault, flooding or serious flood damage, serious storm or fire damage, a failure or breakdown of any essential service or appliance provided for water, hot water, cooking, heating or doing laundry, a failure or breakdown in any appliance or fitting supplied by the landlord that will result in a large amount of water being wasted, a failure or breakdown of the gas, electricity or water supply, a serious fault in a lift or staircase, any fault or damage that makes the premises unsafe or not secure. If you can't reach the landlord or agent or they don't respond immediately, you can make your own arrangements to have the repairs done up to the cost of $1,000. Send a notice to the landlord describing the repairs that were done and how much they cost and attach a copy of the repair receipt or invoice. The landlord must repay you within 14 days of receiving the notice. If the landlord does not make repairs, you can apply to the Victorian Civil Administrative Tribunal or VCAT to seek an order for the repairs to take place. Any rent you pay can be held by VCAT until the repairs are done. The Tenants' Union or a community legal centre can help you with the application to VCAT. Any repairs that are not on the list of urgent repairs are considered to be non-urgent repairs, also called general repairs. You should not arrange to have general repairs done yourself unless the landlord has agreed in writing to pay for them. To get general repairs done, you should list any general repairs that are needed on a notice to landlord form. 
This form is available from Consumer Affairs. This notice informs the landlord that all the items you have listed must be repaired within 14 days. If the landlord hasn't carried out the repairs within 14 days of receiving the notice or hasn't had the repairs done to a satisfactory standard, you should write to Consumer Affairs Victoria to request an inspection. An inspector will come to look at the property. After the inspection, they may contact the landlord or agent and try negotiating for the repairs to be done. The inspector will give you a copy of the report. If the landlord still doesn't make repairs, you can apply to VCAT for an order that the landlord carry out repairs. So Kersey's landlord broke the law because he did not make urgent repairs immediately. But Kersey made a mistake when she stopped paying rent. It would have been better if she had applied to VCAT for an urgent hearing for an order to get the roof repaired. Or she could have sent the landlord a receipt for the work she had done and continued to pay all the rent. To protect yourself from eviction, you should always continue to pay your rent on time. You must not stop paying rent if you are signed up to a lease. If you don't pay rent, you may be evicted by the landlord. For further help, you can contact the Consumer Action Law Centre. Telephone 96 29 6300 or toll free 1300 881 020. To find your local community legal centre, phone 96 52 1500. Ask for an interpreter if you need one. For more information about the Tenants Union, go to their website www.tuv.org.au